We are back in our pursuit to the very top. It's tier 10 right through to the Premier League on the road style. And in case you haven't been keeping up with things, it's two wins from two, which sees us at tier eight. Step four of non-league, where I'll be visiting. Sitting born FC, I have you know. What's the burgers like? Did they do Dr. Pepper? And who stuck a cone on this kid's head? All revealed in this video, coming right up. On the road, yep, yeah, back again. And as mentioned in the comments last time round, welcome to the waffle, the five minute waffle. Unfortunately, I can't guarantee it's gonna be five minutes worth. In fact, I don't think it will be. But here we are on the bloody A13. Remember when we used to moan about this? Hence the reason it's called the bloody A13. It's actually all right these days, to be fair. It is a Tuesday evening, and we're heading towards Kent. This is the very bridge that will take you there. Welcome to the QB2. It's going to cost us £2.50 to get over this. And very quickly, we're leaving the big bad boy M25, heading on to the M2, Canterbury bound. And as you can see, shot by shot, we are getting a little bit darker, because that's what happens as time goes on. Well, that has to be said, it's getting much darker earlier now. Wait till the clocks go back. That'll be trending on Twitter. Or X. Can't get used to that. And have a news, James doesn't like it when I hog the middle lane. What James doesn't understand is there's no point in weaving in and out of traffic just to stay in the slowest lane possible. But having said that, I need to make sure everybody's happy. So I shall be staying in the slowest lane possible for the rest of this journey. Thank you very much. It is proper dark now and Sitting Bourne are on the signs. In fact, he's telling us to come off here, so we'll do that. And while we do that, I'll tell you about tonight's team. It's named Sitting Bourne FC. We were founded in 1886. You'll find this team in the Isthmian Southeast Division. Their opponents tonight, Hearn Bay, who at the time were called Sitting Fourth. This night, just picking easy fixtures. I'm here for a good crack. Now, Sitting Bourne play their football out of Woodstock Park, also known as the Jarman Solicitor Stadium. In case you need some legal advice, don't go to the stadium. They've probably got a head office somewhere. Actually, give me an email. I just found it. It's inquiries at jarmansolicitors.co.uk. That's inquiries at jarman Solicitors. .co.uk. Anyway, the capacity of this gaff is 3,000. Seated, I don't know, but I can confirm none of them, absolutely none of them are heated. We've gone from really dark to proper dark. Not an ideal place to walk down, but people are doing it. And you've got a few young Clives riding around in the dark. You know what? I blame the parents. It's all their fault. In fact, this long and winding road doesn't lead to your door, but it does lead to sitting born FC if we chuck a left here into the car park. Upon arriving in the car park, I didn't see that we had to pay, I hope, so um, that's good. However, the only space I could find was an extremely tight squeeze, but we went in, didn't we? Apologies if your car was either side of me. But listen, I had to get to the football and I wanted to get there on time as well so um, we're in. On the foot we make our way to the gaff. I realise this isn't the gaff. Oh these floodlights acting like the North Star making sure I get to my destination. That was a very religious comment Smithy. Listen I know my stuff. I went to Sunday school until I was five. As we head in we're about to pay the most amount of money we paid this season to get into a game. It's £10. Give me some click click click. Oh it's lovely. Boop, boop. First impressions. Lovely little place here. What's Pete there? Has he got a raffle ticket? I had to copy Pete didn't I? I got two 50-50 raffle tickets. That's two quid. Don't forget my program which is printed in colour. Can't wait to get my head stuck into that. So as I said before I wasn't sure if there was seating but they're Definitely is some down there. I stand by the fact they're not heated though. Tonight's referee is David from Spain. And if I have a look at today's opponents, well, not one double barrel name in sight. However, the Brickies have come in clutch. Most likely to be Jean Baptiste Fisher, who's not here tonight. A former PSG under 19 captain, I have you know. Look at that. Snacks. Definitely need some snacks. On the menu, definitely snacks at the bottom. I'm going in. Cheeseburger, please. A guy took my elder and ran off around the corner. No Dr. Pepper there. My biggest concern, I can't smell any food. However, would you look at that? It's arrived. That's £4.50 on food. Amongst the facilities, you've got a bar. Pine of Ribena, please, Trace. Let's see, I'm already into the burger. Of course, I'll let you know how this went down at the end of the video. On my little walk across this three-sided ground, I saw a sticker. Sticker's coming soon. This one, as you can see, is hanging on for dear life. It belongs to East Grinstead Town Football Club, who I'm told are the pride of Sussex. Nothing to see over there, really. Just a man in a Mexican sombrero. Oh, look, a stand. And as you can see, people are starting to make their way in. This stand, by the way, is only for home and away officials only. What about the use of the bin? Well, I'm going to use it. And so we're walking into the bar. I wouldn't normally do this, but I got a Red Bull. That's £1.50. Now, would you believe it? I actually missed kickoff because I was chatting to a couple of people. We're out here now, and that lot in the shed are making some noise. <laughs> For me, I'm currently standing on a wooden step outside a wooden shed, which I can only describe as no longer in use. I think you'll agree for the level we're at, the numbers have pulled through tonight. It's a beautiful sight. On the field, sitting ball in the red, Herm Bay in the blue, and we've got a battle of the number twos here. Love to see it. Both sets of fans over here bringing the atmosphere. <laughs> to the game. I feel like Herne Bay have started the better offside call over there. We've got a potential human ruler over there. Why? Because he's as straight as a, well, ruler. Am I being picky here? Let me know because I just feel like the numbers on the back of Herne Bay shirt should be white. They've got to be white. On the camera, they're quite clear, but in person, they, I, I struggled. I'm not going to lie. I did struggle. Anyone else use this? I've just checked in, by the way, to sit in Bourne versus Herne Bay. Five others have as well. Ali Sutton, David and Sam Goody, and a couple of Mark C's. Not an ad, by the way. Trevor down there currently taking a photo of the football to football. Who does that? I does that. I think this would be a good photo. I took the photo and it's on my Instagram. And you can follow me in there if you want. I to have a real problem with standing in places with a restricted view. Let's move, come on. Press into the corner where every non league ground needs a pile of crap. Neat though, to be fair. This will be our view for the remainder of the half. Sitting born to the left of me, Herne Bay to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle on Chew. 
was a day. Corner flag girth, no complaints. That is solid. I think it's one of the springy ones as well, so that's uh, that's great. I've got an itchy nose. That means something, apparently. I've stuck the camera down on the fence, and we have a very still shot. It looks A-level standard. Just needs an intro like non-league football. For many, the most exciting part of the week. In this video, we're going to delve into why people go to non-league football over the big games. Today, we're at Sittingbourne FC as they take on Herm Bay, and here's what we found. What I actually found was my walk to the corner actually got me 10,000 steps spot on, and I'll be honest, I just can't wait for the half-time draw. Throwing on this near side, he's got a long one. Throw isn't too bad either. And I have to say, Herm Bay playing some good stuff in this first half. Better team for me. If it carries on like this, we might end up getting relegated to the ninth tier of the English football pyramid. Let's hope not. Half time's looming, so I'm going to get to the front of the queue for some, well, no cheesy peas available, so cheesy chips it is. As this exciting game of football continues, man leaves pint on bench. Oh no, he's coming back. False alarm. This actually happened, didn't it? And I love how many clubs have just kept everything up, just, just in case, you know. I reckon there's more empty hand sanitizers than full at the moment. Watch away for my cheesy chips. I know the club shop is open. May get something in a bit. But for now, cheesy chips have arrived. £1.50 spent. And that, my friends, is half time. Nil nil. Time for the 50 50 raffle draw. Let's go. Is zero, seven, three, two, eight. Okay, I'm mean, time, time to try again. Funny enough, it still says zero, seven. Three, two, eight. Will we ever win a raffle? Let me know in the comments below, but for now, screw this. Oh look, just bumped into viewer of the channel, it's Luke. Hello. 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 Also, I bumped into Simon, another viewer of the channel. Hello. Hello. Alright, Gazer. Simon's told me I've been airing him on Instagram, and uh, it's true. Evidence is there. I'm sorry. Into the bar. Here, Trace, that point of Ribena, please, is exactly what Governor Paul said. Governor Paul and his mate, to be exact. I've been going to games and making friends. I've been invited into the shed. <laughs> Apparently, I'm a good luck charm. It's a kickoff because uh, I missed both. It's one it was a sitting ball. Over there, it looks like Simon's acquired a cone and he's just stuck it on this kid's head. Brilliant. Hello, hello. He's one of our own. The, he's one of our own. the beers are absolutely flying with Gavin Paul and his mate in front. Meanwhile, we've got a pretty bad injury on the field. There was talk at one point that it could be abandoned, but luckily he was able to walk off and things carried on. Big question is where are this lot from? Thanks for clearing that up, guys. Meanwhile, got me too, right? Yeah. Any idea what colour sitting ball now? Come on, you guys! As good as Herne Bay were in the first half, it's all sitting born in this second. And a corner here for the Reds with a little bit of black. I don't know if you noticed, but there's a lot of cobwebs here. A lot of cobwebs. Early Halloween decorations, maybe. But that corner that the Reds got is currently being filmed. Who films at the football? Anyway, it's uh, sent into the box and, well, nobody on it. Kind of reminds me of when David Beckham joined LA Galaxy. Except this isn't LA Galaxy, and that ain't David Beckham. Someone just turned up with a scooter with a mitre ball, it looks like, in a carrier bag. Love it. Keeps having a swig. No, he's spitting it out. Right about there, there's not many sitting in sitting born. <laughs> Is only 1-0 and Herne Bay are looking to push for an equaliser here. It's nervy. They get by that one and immediately have a chance up this end. Whilst they line that up, a couple of you commented on the Instagram post, including Joel, dare put cheesy peas into the video. Anyway, about that free kick. Looks like things are going to win 1-0, but they'll take it, or will they? Oh, too much. Just hit my head on this beam, could have concussion. Pray for me or swing your scarf, just do something. Actually, I'll tell you what you could do. Drop a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Are they stewards? Where they come from? Now, Governor Paul and his mate were telling me about this chant that Sitting Ball done back in the day. It actually came fourth in the charts, not the actual charts, the uh, the football chant charts. This is what it sounds like. Bring and bring <laughs> Following that, we had a photo. I actually took Governor Paul's glasses for this one. I think they suit me. And then we had a final whistle. Yeah. 
That puts them second in the table, but where do they finish in ours? Should we rate this experience? I think we should. Let's. First up, and as usual, we're going to be talking about atmosphere. How was it down at Sitting Bourne? Well, for the level it's at, it was very good. Above average, for sure. Uh, I'm actually really pleased to tell you that it's it's not five stars, but it's definitely going to be high. We're talking four and a half stars for this lot. Great start to the rankings. Let's move on to facilities. I like this gap. It feels good. Can't walk all the way around, mind you. Just three sides. But I like the way you come through the little turnstile, and then it's all opened out. A little grass bank with benches, space to roam. I bet it's lovely on a Saturday when the sun's out. Everything you need was there in terms of hot food and snacks. You had the bar. It's a good in this place. I'm going to go with three and a half stars. Next up, we're talking food and drink. How was that burger? Well, it was... <laughs> It was very okay. Never like a powder bun, but surely cheesy chips save the day. Well, unfortunately it doesn't. I don't know if they cook fish here, but the chips tasted like fish. My taste buds were sort of all over the show. Don't get me wrong, I ate it all. It was okay, but not amazing. Straight down the middle, two and a half stars. Finally, we're talking cost. At this stage, we are talking non-league prices. £10 to get in. I'm absolutely fine with that. It's five stars for sitting ball. Which brings them right to the top of the rankings for the season so far. Obviously, we've still got a lot to go, but yeah, very respectable score of 15 and a half. That's, that's tough to get these days. And with that win, it puts us up to the next tier in the football ladder, tier seven. Step three of non-league. Where are we going to go? Let me know in the comments below. But back to this one briefly. I do love getting insights into clubs like these. Why wouldn't you want to be part of something like this? I know I go on these non-league football spills every so often, but please, if you do have a local team and you don't visit them, get down. Trust me, you can really be part of something. Governor Paul just telling me what it means to him. <laughs> to be honest, this means more to me than fucking oh, Arsenal. Funny. It does. Yeah. <laughs> it does. At which point we visit that club shop. We actually refuse to take cash. And that is where I got this bad boy. Yes, it's a sitting ball shirt, a red shirt with a little bit of black. But I didn't actually buy this. I didn't. No, no, no. I wanted to buy it, but they wouldn't take card. Proper Moni Clive in the old shop. Yeah, wouldn't take card. Doesn't do all that digital fandangle stuff. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have cash. Um, I tried to pay card in the bar. I assumed it's all going to the same place, but no, it's not. It's completely separate. So we went back to the shop and Governor Paul and friends and family all chipped in and got me this shirt worth 35 quid. So a massive thank you. I actually uh, did find £20 cash in my pocket, which I then gave to Paul. We then agreed that uh, that £20 is going to go into Kieran Payne's bucket. Now, Kieran Payne is a sitting born fan, a sitting born steward and a sitting born kit man. He's well involved in the club, but unfortunately recently he was diagnosed with a brain tumour. So any money raised goes towards Kieran and his family just to help him get through this really difficult time. And obviously we've got our fingers crossed that he can pull through this. I'll also leave a GoFundMe link in the description below if you want to donate. Anything is massively appreciated. And I'm actually not going to keep this shirt either. I'm actually going to sell it on a WhatNot live auction. I've got lots of different shirts to go. You might remember I did a WhatNot live auction quite a while ago. So keep an eye out on my socials for that. And any money raised from this shirt sale here uh, will go straight to Kieran as well. Anyway, onward with the video. There's not much left to be fair. In fact, I can't believe you stayed this long. If you did stay this long, make sure you comment below saying, I stayed this long. Smith, thank you very much for making me stay this long. And if you do comment that, I'll 100% reply to you and say thank you for uh, commenting, telling me that you stayed this long. Brilliant. Cheers. Thanks. On the road, yeah. Back home. Um, that Red Bull didn't really do anything. I'm knackered. But another successful on the road. Another one to tick off. We move on to the next week. Where that be, I do not know. I normally pick from the comments. So get involved and don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. If you're new, there's a whole playlist, by the way. Over 100 different grounds we've been to. 120. Might be pushing 130 now. I do not know, but there's a massive binge there. But either way, I will see you in the next one. And here's a comment at the end of the video, like I used to do, for those that hang on right to the end. Thank you. You are amazing. You are sensational. You are real tip top.